little bit of fun today. We're about to Buna Harvin and Kladach. So and Kladach, it actually means the shore in Gaelic. It's a 50%, which is... Pretty hefty. Not yeah, whiskey. It's a nine-inch statement, so I'm Ooh. pretty interested here. I get a strong metallic taste on the nose. Pretty sweet as well, like some... It's like the sweetness is covered or hidden inside the, the metallic... Uh, some Christmas pudding on the nose. A little bit of rice pudding as well. On mm. the palate, strong sherry. And then it's carried also by that excess ABV. It's less than 30 US. 30 US, pretty good. Yeah. The, the taste is interesting because you also get some hazelnut. What actually shines through is that raisin flavor, which you get with like the 18 year old Buna Harbin, you know, but you don't get with the 12 er. You get a, a tiny bit of peat. It's not very noticeable, but it kind of carries it along so it doesn't putter out. The one thing that's lacking a little bit is the finish. Nothing to write home about. It, it might just be because of the lack of age. Like, it could it's be. Just, yeah. uh, but I kind of feel like 50% you should, you should this get is a probably, little bit. It's got to be below eight years. It's about four obviously being a scotch whiskey a single malt uh, it's probably around like a five six seven year old whiskey somewhere yeah uh, on a second taste that the peat still is in there a little it's still, bit there's a little bit of peat yeah. don't get me wrong we're not talking about like this this isla monster nah. you know bonfires and campfires not no none, none of that none of that none of that but it not, just kind of hold, holds it kind of holds the whiskey together i feel yeah. like right it's just weird the metallic in the beginning so look it's it's a whiskey if you want to start your collection you probably don't need this one. Yeah. Um, it's something where you want to expand it. It's a good deal in terms that it's a liter bottle, less than 30 or 50% alcohol. I mean, I'll tell you what I kind of classify this as. Like here in, in, in Taipei, there's, but they have like a lot of wine slash whiskey bars. You go in there and maybe you pay like 20%, 15, 20% above retail price and you get the whole bottle and they'll keep it there for you. So this is something which if I was in one of these places, they would have this kind of offering. Well, I would pick it up. If you look at the color, it's not that dark. What's very popular in Taiwan is these very dark sherry whiskeys, a right. little bit sweeter and, and everything else. Uh, maybe that's what Buna Harvin was targeting with that. And I, I'd pick it up if they didn't have something better, right? So Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs>